Hello, love. Thank you so much for spending time with me today. If you're new here, hi, hello, welcome. If you're returning, welcome back. On this channel, I explore all kinds of different sourcing strategies for reselling new and used clothing. Now in this video, I am unboxing box number two of a 200 pound lot that I got through ThreadUp. Now this is going to be mostly used women's clothing. There might be a couple of new pieces along in there as well. I will say they're probably not the most amazing pieces, but they're pretty good bread and butter from what I've noticed so far. Um, any pieces that were designer have been damaged. I did get in connection recently with a local seamstress who said that they would fix up some clothes for me. So I'm pretty excited if I do end up getting designer in this box, I will definitely take them to her. So with that said, I'm just gonna go ahead and get started with unboxing this. This box, by the way, is from Arizona. So I know some people track from Arizona or Georgia. This one is an Arizona box. As was my last box, there is a little bit of the tissue paper on the top, you know, thread up little logo or print on it. I'm also gonna take a second to cut off this piece so you don't keep hearing me lean against it as I keep leaning to get in the clothes. Give me a second here. All right, took a minute, but I finally got it. Just need a little bit of drink of water there. And here we go with our first piece. It is Top Shop. And they are pants. These are in excellent condition. And I would say these are very on trend right now they've got cute little buttons down the side pants these are size 10 so i would say it's a pretty good size yeah uh, from first let oh there is a little bit of marking on the bottom of them but i'm pretty sure i can get that out yeah i first piece i'm pretty impressed so far I did estimate my cost of goods on the first box to be $1.13. There was 94 items that I considered to be sellable in the first box. So although there weren't like the best things in it, the cost of goods are cheap enough that it kind of works out for me. I will do the same with this box. I'll count up at the end of how many pieces that I consider sellable and I'll put them you know, on the screen as I'm editing the video up for you. These are Gap size one. So juniors, they are flare pant, like a work pant. I would say they're more, they're heavier. So they're definitely for winter. I'm thinking of like different keywords that I can put into the listings. This is Loft Outlet. I like that it says outlet straight up on it because sometimes I miss when things are outlet because they just have the uh, like diamonds by the name and sometimes I don't quite catch that. But this is Loft, just a you know basic tank top. I don't know that that is necessarily going to be worth listing. I will say though that my first box I ended up putting into my local next door chat or thread asking anybody in need if they wanted clothes. So I ended up like lotting out a bunch of the clothes that were like this, you know, they're in good condition. They're just not worth selling. And I sold them for a dollar and then the people were, you know, very happy. So it kind of works out. I get this inventory, I get to see if it works out for me. If it doesn't, it still goes to somebody that is going to appreciate it and I get a little bit of my money back. Like I said, my cost of goods in the last one was 113 and I sold them for a dollar each. So yes, I did lose money on those pieces like this, but on other pieces, I'm going to make more money. This is Universal Thread. 
It is, I don't know. I don't know how I would describe that. It's a dress for sure. I wouldn't quite say it's vlogging look, but I almost want to say, I almost want to put that as a tag because it reminds me of that for sure. But it's like a tie-dye, definitely hippie, boho type feel to it. Pretty good condition. This is J Brand. Now I'm not up on the tags for J Brand, but that tag just looks like an older tag to me just just the way that it looks like um no knowledge other than that these are cropped i believe i put them up to myself yeah those are definitely cropped and they don't have a size so these are size 31 is what they are they're black definitely try to sell on my own it's usually a pretty good like bread and butter brand but that tag i just i just don't know how old that tag is this is liz claiborne studio i know thread up does not take liz claiborne or at least i don't think so that's probably how it ended up in this box this i will probably lot up to somebody from next door do something similar with that i thought about doing mercari too just mercari local and taking quick pictures, like even wrinkled pictures of 10 items in the same size and seeing if anybody would be interested in them. That way I don't end up with all these clothes. Somebody lucks out and it, you know, inventory keeps moving because you know, housemates are not exactly happy that I have clothes everywhere. So this is Anne Klein, size so 24. I did just have somebody request work pants in size 24. So these incline pants are probably going to go to that person. I would imagine I would get, you know, $10 or less anyways from these. So I'm happy to have them go to somebody in need. This is an unnamed dress. It is just, is it sheath? I think that's how you pronounce it, sheath dress. It's very, very thin. Like, I don't, it's not Amazon, but it's like that Amazon very thin quality. So this is probably gonna go to buy, sell, trade. It was $13 originally. So um, factories connection, I don't know. Maybe it's like a boutique or something, but that's probably going to buy, sell, trade. This is Athleta. I'll probably sell this myself or send it to Flip and have somebody else sell it. It has a black zip up. It's got like, you know, cute little different design for the, the pull tags or the ties, whatever you want to call it. But it's in good condition. It just needs to be cleaned up a little bit it's got some fuzzies and whatnot in it but that's that's very basic maintenance for that this is express it is a romper yeah it's a romper i might be keeping this one for myself or putting it up and wearing it until it sells and then of course if i happen to damage it then obviously can't sell it anymore it is it's green so i know it might be kind of hard to tell because i thought it was gray to begin with but that is a green and white print there a sweater let's see this is boohoo which i think is sold at like nordstrom rack maybe tj maxx something like that but I mean it's cute it's just not the best quality i've had pieces from this brand before and it definitely the quality didn't match up but this will probably go to a buy sell trade i've said before i've noticed that buy sell trade or at least my local plato's closet there are a couple more that i i sell to but plato's closet is kind of my main go-to to just get inventory out 
they I've noticed take like lower end brands because it's more of teens or young adults that are shopping there and that those are just the brands that they know those are the like fast fashion brands that they are looking for like this shirt I will probably end up taking to buy sell trade it is nasty yell and it came in a previous thread up rescue box so if it doesn't sell uh you know relatively soon or the next time i go to the buy sell trade the play-doh's closet this is probably going to end up going with it it is for the time being on ebay and of course i'll put the link in the description as i always do i always put what i'm wearing in the description just in case you're interested this is city studio size one so it is juniors i don't know anything about this brand just because i i i don't know juniors much myself but it looks pretty cute it's like a prom or homecoming type dress it feels like it's pretty good quality but that's something that i need to look up to see if the quality or if the price matches what it feels like. Sometimes I get tricks. Sometimes something feels like it's really good quality and then it ends up being like not a good brand whatsoever. And sometimes something feels super cheap and it's actually really expensive. So it's not just the material that you can go off of when you're determining how much something costs, but yep, definitely looking up this brand. This is Zara. How it is? Zara WB, I don't know, I haven't really seen that. I don't know if that's sizing or what it is, but it's like stretchy. Feels like it's a bodysuit type material, but it's not. It's just a turtleneck or a mock neck. I don't know, I, I guess I would be full turtleneck there. It's just a maroon type color. That's probably going to buy sell trade as well. This is also Zara, so quite a few Zara in this box so far. Just a tan or khaki colored long sleeve shirt. It is slightly cropped. I wouldn't consider it to be cropped, but it seems like it would hit like right at your um, belts or pant line there. This is size small is from autumn winter 17 18 so i don't know if you can read that there but it definitely tells you what it's from and i don't remember ever seeing that from a zara tag before so that's you know something new to me that's why i like going through these boxes because i learn all kinds of different stuff that i may not have paid attention to before like especially brands this is e trina turk dress has no size on it, but it's like a black work dress. It's got different designs, or I wouldn't say the design, flare sleeve, I guess, or a bell sleeve. I'll see sometimes on the materials tag is the size. Nope, no size, and I just know myself better. I am not gonna take the time to figure out what size it is. It seems like it's probably a smaller or medium, but I am probably sending this to somebody through Flip. This is Yogi Pace. Never heard of that brand. Definitely something I am going to look up. These are extra small. They're like yoga material, but there are the loop belt loops in the pockets on the back. So I know a few years ago, there was this whole thing about wearing yoga pants to work and like them being still work pants. I don't remember what brand that was, but I'm wondering if this is that brand. I just, I don't know. I remember seeing so many commercials about people like, oh, I'm in work pants, but then the commercial was like them doing all kinds of yoga poses at work and whatnot. I don't know, I could be completely making that up, but that's what this reminds me of. This is, I believe it's Jane and Delaney. It's 
a tie-dye black long sleeve shirt. It looks like it's supposed to be a sweatshirt. I think it's like a really lightweight sweatshirt. It is very soft on the inside. It's kind of hard to show that on camera, but it is very, very soft material on the inside. Seems like it's in good condition. I will definitely look this brand up. I feel like I've sold this brand before, maybe for like the $20 range, which was, you know, for something that's a dollar, two dollars, twenty dollars, that's pretty good amount of money. So I'll probably look at comps and see about listing that one myself. This is New Balance, size medium, just a black workout tank, or not tank, t-shirt. Nothing too impressive there, but you definitely need basics like this, and people look for those basics all the time secondhand because who wants to spend $40 on a t-shirt that you're just gonna work out in? This is Romans, not sure about this brand, but I am going to look it up. It is new to me. It's a pretty cute shirt, it's size 16. I like it, I would definitely wear that. So that's, yep, going up in my looking out pile. I'm all about pink and floral. So this is definitely on my alley, not my size. It is Renee C. I don't see a size on it. It's like ribbed floral dress. It's like ribbed the other way than it typically is. We'll see if there's a size on the material tag. There is no materials tag, so can't look up what size that is. Hmm, this one I might make measurements on because I do have somebody looking for 1X and 2X summer dresses, and this looks like it could be 1X. So yeah, I think I'm gonna take measurements of that and send it over to the person looking for that. I'm of course gonna tell them I can't guarantee it, but it's only a dollar, so they'll be okay, I'm sure. This is Zara. Just, you know, really soft pants. They do have the elastic waist. I feel like they're linen based. I don't see, yeah, I don't see any kind of tag on them, but they feel like they're linen based, like maybe linen and spandex. Another shirt that I would like, it's ruffles and floral, and there's no brand, no size, but it looks like it could be a small, so I might be keeping this for a work outfit for me. Of course, I'm gonna check materials. It is a size small and it is called Blush Mark. So I've never heard of that brand before, but it's Blush Mark is the brand. If I do find any information on it, I will definitely put a little snippet of what I do find. I might check about listing it. It might be one of those situations where I wear it until it sells, uh, but we will see. Please tell me I'm not the only one who does that. I, I, I know I'm not the only one who does that. Ooh, pink. This is Yaley, Yaelet. Small, just pink biker shorts. Those are pretty cute, but I don't know anything about this brand. It doesn't feel like it's the most amazing quality, but I will, of course, look it up and put any information that I find out. This is E.E. E. Som or Somme. I feel like it's supposed to be Somme. But it is like an off the shoulder green lightweight sweater. I feel like you can put like, you know, one shoulder. It can be off the shoulder. It can be on the shoulder a little bit. You can wear it a couple of different ways, but it's like a loungy type sweater. This is Banana Republic, size six petite. This day, 
you know, khaki colored skirt. It feels very lightweight. It might be a cotton. Let's see. It is 100% cotton. It's pretty lightweight. Which all of these clothes, including that, are in good condition so far. My last box, I was kind of afraid that I was saying everything was in good condition and then things were actually damaged. When I did go to sort them to, you know, the different boxes, like I said, through next door and a couple of them I listed, some I sent to Flip, some right back to Thread Up. All of them were in good condition as I went through them again. So that is pretty good. This is Brandy Melville. It's one size fits all. I was trying to figure out how, what's going on here. Okay, so it's like button up in the front, but in the back, it's got that hole and it is like a high low. So this would be nice for like beachy, just casual wear. I've never heard of this brand, but it's something for me to look up. By the way, if you know anything about these brands that I keep saying that I don't know, please share. Uh, I know that a lot of people learn from the comments below, including myself, and I'd love to keep, you know, that wealth of knowledge going. I'm not sitting here pretending like I'm an expert by any means in all these brands. I'm just showing you what I am getting and what I am learning about it, such as this brand. Don't know anything about it. Flora Nick Roos like a night oh it's from Macy's it's got a tag does not have a price on it so up oh, this Nordstrom not Macy's look like a Macy's tag for a second so it's sold at Nordstrom so it's got to be you know pretty good definitely something for me to look up especially because it has the tag on it. Like I said before, a lot of the stuff with tags isn't very good, but I would say something that is sold at Nordstrom is probably a pretty good brand. So I'm putting that in my pile to research and probably list on my own, but you never know. This has a cute saying on it, Amour. It's Old Navy though, but it might sell just on style alone is like a lightweight sweater. It, oh, it's a set. Okay, we have a set. So we have these sweatpants and then these sweatshirt that I already showed that goes with it. The sweatshirt is a size medium and the sweatpants are a size large. They do have that jogger bottom there. So I've never seen a set come in a thread up rescue box before. So I'm pretty excited about that. That will definitely sell now that I have the whole set. I feel like a lot of people are all about the matching sets and the joggers just lounging around. So I'm, I'm pretty excited about that. This is Ava V, another brand I have no idea about. The tag doesn't look like the like most exciting, but you never know. It is size extra small. It's very oversized. Like that doesn't, because that's not extra. Oh, it's 2X. That's why. Not extra small. 2X. But now that makes a little bit more sense. I'm going to set that to the side for the woman who's looking for 2X, 3X, 1X. A couple of different people. This is Cupcakes and Cashmere which I would say is a pretty good brand for being in a thread up rescue box. It doesn't have the size, which is probably how it ended up here because it is in good condition. I would say it's probably a small, but this is probably going to go to flip just because I don't know. And that's just me. I know I get so much inventory that I'm not gonna take the time to fix things up or um figure out the size now i do get some inventory from flip 
And if somebody sends me something expecting me to sell it, then it's on me and I do take the time. But if it's like this and I know it's a dollar, I don't take the time for it. It's probably backwards thinking, but I'm like, I know people are counting on me. So that's why I took the time to fix their stuff versus my stuff. I don't know. That's, that's just me. This is pure Jill. Never heard of it, but it looks like it's probably J Jill. Like their activewear brand is kind of what I'm thinking. Cause these are sweatpants, elastic band, no drawstring at all. They are size large, more flowers. This is Laurel Ashley. Laurel Ashley, another new to me brand. Look that one up. I wish this was my size because I definitely would be wearing it if it was, but it's size eight. I'm all about flowers. If you didn't know that already, I like it. This whole like paisley print that's going on from this Madewell top, definitely all about it. Size medium. I'd say this box redeemed itself from the last box. The last box was a lot, a lot of like basic Gap, Old Navy. This one's a little bit better than that for sure. And these are all in good condition too. This is what, a jacket? Sorry, it's probably really loud. Again, I'd say that this is a pretty good brand to be in a Thrive Rescue box. It's a raincoat. Size extra small is a blue or black? That's black. Good condition. This is Isui. Seems like it's probably like a TJ Maxx type brand. This is size small. It's off the shoulder. Green with all kinds of ruffle detail. The back is really cute. I like it for myself and it's my size. So, whoops. This is Everly. Show you the tag there. It's kind of like a casual dress. It's got like the check detail on it. This does not have a size on it. So, ooh, is there a little bit of stain there? Can you see it right here? There's something going on. Oh, it's a fuzz. All good. This is Just Storage. Just Storage. I'm probably messing up like half of these names just because I have no idea what they are. It's a black sheer type shirt wouldn't say it's anything too exciting it doesn't feel like it's the best quality at all so that might end up in one of my boxes for next door mercari local this is sketchers sketchers leggings so i know that their shoes you know do pretty good i don't know anything about their actual pants to their activewear. I didn't even know they had any. If you didn't know, that's the logo. I would have no idea if the tag was not on the inside. It has a tag, it's H&M, it's $35, so that's pretty good for being H&M actually. It is size 14, it's a red dress. This I will probably put in one of those boxes or try to sell myself because Flip and Thread Up both don't take H&M. These are cute, but they have no information on them. Oh. The, I don't know. It has no brand tag, but I'll show you materials tag it does have an rn number that i don't think you can see that at all it does have an rn number i'll probably try to look that up but it seems like the brand tag was taken off they're just 
you know, lounge pants, but they've got the piping on the side. It's kind of cute. The elastic's good. I always check the elastic because sometimes it gets like non, it's no longer elastic. Like when you pull it, it's just hard and it crackles. Uh, I know in shoes it's called dry rot. Is it called dry rot with elastic when it just, it's not elastic anymore because it's been, I guess, sitting for so long. This is Disney World, Disney World. Now I am Orlando based, so this might be something that I sell local, but I just noticed it has 2007 on it. So this shirt has lasted some years. I don't know that it's going to sell unless somebody is looking for 2007, because you never know, people collect things like crazy and I'm always surprised how much Disney stuff goes for. Like I recently went to Disney's Vacation Club. I think it's called Midnight Magic. It's like a after hour celebration for Vacation Club members. The amount of people that were waiting in line for a popcorn bucket because they wanted one for that specific year was insane. Like I'm saying the popcorn line was about two hours. The ride or the lines for the ride were about you know 20 minutes the popcorn was more important than the actual ride so i don't know maybe that 2007 shirt will be something like that and i can sell it for a good amount of money this is sweet salt another thing not so sure about but it doesn't feel like it's the most amazing quality it's just a red black turtleneck so I'll look that up, but I just have a feeling that's not the, the craziest brand that I'm going to find here. This is Laura Scott. Again, nothing too exciting. Just a t-shirt. Does got some embroidery and florals. Some keywords that I can put in there. This is gold. It is Forever 21 though. This is probably going to buy, sell, trade. I might try to take it closer to a New Year's because that just seems like something somebody would wear to New Year's, but it might also be something somebody wears to a wedding. So actually, now that I'm saying this, I'll probably try to take it now. If they don't take it, I will wait until New Year's season, take it back because my guess, that's when it's going to go. This is the limited with no size tag very worn down this one is probably just straight going to be donated right back because i just yeah i don't think i can do very much with that one love this it's got a tag it's from bloomingdale's it was originally 179 dollars okay for a thread up rescue box not mad about it this is i can't figure out the brand it's Faithful the brand, which I've picked up before. It is a size two. Now to figure out what how to make this work. Okay, there we go. It's a deep V dress. It's got kind of like the ties on the side there and some ruffles in the back. Oh, there's buttons on the front. This is really cute. And then the back is just also a V, but it has a zipper closure. So I'm about that. Definitely going to try to sell that one for myself. If I can, I'm going to try to scan that one into eBay. I love when it has the tag so that I can just scan it. And then all the information pre-populates. And then I cross list over to Poshmark and Mercari from there. Otherwise, I typically post to Poshmark first and cross post over. I'm thinking about changing that though. I might start listing over on eBay first and then cross posting to the other platforms. What do you do? What I, I know that some people are trying out different things, so I would love to know if you did make the switch over to eBay first, was it better or worse? Because you list differently on each platform and yes, I revise things as I go, but for the most part, I just cross post quickly over 
And then as things are listing, if I relist things, that's when I go to start adjusting things. So I don't know, is it better to a list on eBay because Poshmark's not doing it for me right now? Or is it just because we're in summer slowdown and that's how things are? Again, I'm not over here saying that I'm an expert, but I'm sharing my experience with you so we can kind of learn and grow together. These are pants. They are Topshop size eight. Oh, they're not pants. It's a skirt. It's like a tie-dye, casual day, loungy type skirt. It is ribbed. I'm, I'm pretty impressed with this box. You know, Topshop, yes, it's not like whoo, crazy, crazy brand, but for being a thread of rescue box, I would say that's pretty good. This is Oak Ridge 30. Again, never heard of it, but definitely will look it up. Seems like it's nice quality. It's just a casual burnt orange dress. Another tag. This is New Look. Okay, not the most amazing brand, but it has the tag on it. It's a burnt orange skirt. Good for fall. People are gonna start shopping for fall pretty soon. So if you haven't, if you curate your closet for the specific seasons, I would definitely start looking for fall. I am in education, I'm an assistant principal, and I will tell you, we are definitely starting to look at the fall, even though it is July. So get your back to school clothes in and whatnot, because it's coming before you know it. This is Dina Barrel. Again, never heard of it, but something to look up. It is a nicer dress. It's got like sequin details, got some lace down the side. I just from first glance, I would say this would definitely sell for, you know, at least the $20 range. And that's with a thread of rescue box that's good enough for me. This is Forever 21, probably going to buy, sell, trade. It is a flannel mini skirt. This is cute. It is exhilaration. Okay. Target coming in handy here. I would say, yeah, this is a maxi dress striped with all kinds of different spring, summer type colors and designs. It's got a couple of different like strappy I guess is what I'm trying to say and then it hooks in the back there or it's a button type hook it is aligned the lining it might be hard to tell it goes to right here so it goes I would say like mid thigh it's pretty cute I would definitely wear it some denim shorts these are mud oh taking it back in the day i used to wear mud all the time in middle and high school these are size nine they've got a cute little print on them i kind of like them i would definitely have worn these back in the day i will probably put like retro something like that 90s y2k in the listing as a tag this is Connected Apparel. Another brand, never heard of it, but it is very fancy, nice and shiny. I would say somebody would wear this probably to a wedding, maybe like to a play, something like that. Definitely good condition. Depending on brand, I will probably list that one on my own just because no matter what brand, usually like fancier dresses like that, people will buy secondhand because sometimes you wear it just once, especially ladies. We never want to be caught in a picture more than once. So people will buy stuff like that secondhand for sure. This is H&M size eight. They are definitely on trend, I would say. I'm surprised these ended up in a thread up rescue box. They are wide leg jeans from H&M. Even though it's H&M, they'll probably still sell just because of the style. So I will probably be listing these because 
thread up and flip do not accept H&M, but that's okay. It'll work out for me. This is Florette. Florette? Florette, I would say, probably. Ooh. It's kind of cute. Kind of vintage -y type look. It's velvety, but then it's got like polka dots and floral. There's a lot going on here. This might be really cute as a swim cover, like at a beach party or something like that. I could see somebody wearing that for sure at a pool party, a beach party. Tulum maybe is kind of what I'm thinking, something like that. I would do it. And a swimsuit. What I would say to go with it, but this definitely doesn't match with that. This is Target. Target has some good swimsuits though. Not gonna lie, but it doesn't resell for that much. Just a purple size small swim top. It does have the wire. This, I don't think Thread Up takes swim. I don't know, I haven't really looked for it, but I don't think they do. That's probably how it ended up, and it's acceleration. This is Delia's, again, taking me back in the day. It is size five. It's got the one shoulder, definitely taking me back in the day here. How many might wear that to a throwback party or something? Ooh, but it has a stain, so. That's, I think that's the first thing I've found in this box with a straight up stain like that. So I would say somebody would be wearing it to a retro party, but not with that stain. And that brand's just not worth the time. So that's probably going to be donated out. This is Banana Republic. It does have the hearts or the diamonds on it. It's probably hard to tell, but it does have the diamonds. So it's outlet. I like this though. It's like a vintage-y type feel. It's not vintage, but it just reminds me of like vintage attire. I don't think I can use the keyword vintage, but I could put like in the description inspired, vintage inspired maybe, so that I'm not claiming that it's vintage, but it definitely to me looks it at least, that's how I would go around that. Exhilaration, there's a lot of exhilaration pieces in that, but that's expected with a Thread Up Rescue box. You just have to get with the picture. So this is like a boho dress. I like it, I think it's cute. It's size large though, not my size. This I will probably sell on my own just based on a style. That is my refrigerator trying to make ice, so sorry. I think that'll be the only time though. This is Silence and Noise. It looks like it's probably TJ Maxx, something like that. But it is a cropped kind of number. I like it, I think it's cute. If it was my size, definitely would wear it, but this is a size medium. Probably will list that based on style alone. A lot of these styles in this thing are not bad. This box are not bad. They're just not the best brands is the, the thing. And this has no brand whatsoever on it, but it's got a little inside pocket, so that's kind of cute. Um, yep. Oh, it's Lululemon. Okay. Um, I don't know where the size tag on this thing is. I've never been the expert on trying to find the dots on Lululemon whatsoever, but I know it's probably in there somewhere. Oh, oh okay, that's where it is. On the inside. So if you're not versed on Lululemon like me, uh, I just learned this as I was unboxing it actually. It doesn't have a media pocket like going down like a lot of yoga pants do. It's kind of like on the side. It's kind of hard to show on the camera, but it's like you go in and over and inside of that is where the size tag is. So for Lululemon, I've learned the size tag is always 
on the inside tucked away somewhere there's not this like huge thing that shows you the brand but of course everybody knows that iconic label there so um yeah i'm probably going to be selling these on my own I did get some Lululemon in a previous box that did not have a size tag. And I promise you, I searched everywhere that everybody suggested. There was not a size tag on these yoga pants or on the tanks that I got. So I wasn't able to sell them as the size completely. But luckily, Lululemon, people kind of know their size. So I tell like, you know, I think it's this size, but I can't guarantee I've never had any issues with Lululemon. Other brands that I'm just not so sure about and that don't have a following, I don't do that for. But Lululemon, people are fine with. This is, I don't know, is this a skirt? Okay. It is Laundry by Shelly Seagal. Seagal, 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 something like that. I don't is that a shaper I think it's got to be a body shaper because that can't be a shirt it's got to be a body shaper that's my guess these are a new day these lounge shorts they feel like they're cotton based or maybe linen but I would say probably cotton Oh, the materials tag was cut out, but I'd say they're like lightweight cotton. Okay, universal thread. <clears throat> yeah, I don't know. Not too, too impressed. Nothing, nothing crazy here, but they're in good condition. They're just not that impressive. Our Zara, they are size four i would say these are a little bit more on trend zara usually holds up pretty good yep nothing nothing wrong with the inside i always check like the inside of the crotch to see if there's any wearing it looks perfectly good it seems like somebody wore this just a couple of times and then sent it out this is tasco Seems like it's probably like a boutique brand. It does not have the size. This I'm probably going to put up in one of those boxes for Mercari Local or next door. This has the tag. It is Jockey, size large, originally $30. Probably will try to scan that into eBay. I don't imagine I'm gonna get very much from these, but they probably will sell because the tag is still on them and they are, you know, pretty good quality. I don't typically wear Jockey, but I know that it does have a good enough following. People just know what they're getting into with that. This has no tag. Oh, it's H&M. Just kidding, it was hidden because it was black on black. It's the divided line, a jumpsuit. I think it's pretty cute actually. I like it, but it is definitely H&M quality. So that will probably go to buy, sell, trade. More flowers. This is Pip Pippany. Pippany, I think is how you say that. Black flower it is pretty soft but it's very lightweight i wouldn't say that this is the brand to be that's probably going to buy sell trade it is flowers but it's not i don't i don't really like the cut of it this is pure gel jill not gel this is pure jill this is tensile again i'm i'm I don't know, but I'm going to guess it is the J. Jill's loungewear line. It's nice and soft to size a large. This feels like a TJ Maxx dress. 
I wear TJ Maxx all the time. That's how I know how it feels. And definitely I have gotten this brand to wear for myself before. It is like a peplum v-neck shirt. It's got some little flowers on it. Cute, but probably not worth like anything. This is a new day, size medium. Nice little animal print going on there. Just a casual like works shirt. This is quite a print. It is Blair Petite 2XL. I have never heard of Blair, but it feels like LuLaRoe quality to me. Could be wrong, maybe it's something very special. I just, I'm not well versed. This is Head. There's that brand tag. They're cropped gray heathered yoga pants or leggings. This is Fashion Nova. Fashion Nova sells pretty good at buy, sell, trade. Like I said, that's, you know, kind of the population that shops there. Oh, it's got some little feathers. Reminds me of Clueless a little bit with that. This doesn't have a size tags. Ooh, I know my local buy, sell, trade takes stuff if it's like unique like this without a size tag. So I'll probably take it there because Plato's Closet does not. If it doesn't have a size tag, it's out no matter what. They actually have very strict rules to follow when they accept things, which I didn't really think about because I feel like everything there to me is kind of cheap, but that's again, who is shopping there. So that's who they're buying for. This is Karen Kane. Don't know about Karen Kane, but it feels like it's a nice quality, but again, you can get tricked very easily by the quality of things or the feel of things. Definitely something that I'm going to look up. Some lace, black lace dress, which is Foxy Docs. Foxy Docs, another thing I need to look up and learn about it. It seems like it might be an okay brand. Um, it does not have a size on it though. I feel like it's probably maybe 1X, but no size tag. It's a little bit too much for me, but I will look up the brand to see what it's all about. Liberty Love, just a little bralette cropped shirt. It's cute, but it, it definitely feels cheap, but probably buy, sell, trade. Anything cropped it usually goes to buy, sell, trade, because again, that's population. This has the tag for $16. Um, Target, all in motion. It is all in motion. This is definitely kids. Yeah, size 10, 12. This is kids, but still pretty good. Some glittery and cropped. This is paper dock. Glittery cropped, uh, definitely buy, sell, trade with that one, but it is cute. I like it. This one is in style. Kind of an off the shoulder. It does have the straps. So I guess it's cold shoulder, but you can also, I'm sure you can figure out how to wear it off the shoulder as well. This navy, I don't know that brand, but it didn't feel like anything particularly good. Another one with the tag on it. This was originally $40. It is Charter Club. Again, I'll try to scan that tag in eBay, see if it comes up with anything. I don't think it will but you never know, it is a women's button down. It is purple and like a tan color along with the white. Um, what is this? This, again, I took a second to try to figure it out, but 
I found that magic symbol that I just lost again, but it is Lululemon. There we go, black on black. It is Lululemon, if you can see, it's kind of pilling a little bit. I don't see the size. The materials tag was cut out. Checking under the bra, I don't see. Okay, there we go. It's a size 10, you probably can't see that, but there's the size dot. So again, if you don't know about Lululemon, I found it underneath where the bra insert would go. So I'm going inside. You know how there's always that little slip where you can put the little padding that's like barely padding and it scrunches up and is so awkward anyways that's where you can find the size tag on the inside of there i would say this box definitely redeemed itself from my last box my first box was like awful based on that that box i would never ever do a threat of rescue box again based on this box though i i would probably do this again so i don't know what do you think am i just you know in a good mood and i'm excited for everything that i'm getting or is this stuff actually better sometimes i can't tell because i end up getting so much stuff that i just end up looking at the positive and not looking at the negative which i guess is the way you should go about life anyways but i don't know i i definitely think that this box is better than the last one if you haven't yet watched the first box obviously watch it because you want to see the downfalls as, long, as well as the positives. I will also be coming out with unboxings for the third and fourth boxes, which no, I have not opened yet. So you will be seeing them right along with me. If you haven't yet subscribed and you want to see those other two boxes, of course, go ahead and hit that subscribe button while you're at it. Hit the like button. That allows my videos to continue to show up on your homepage and the homepage of others. And of course, continue my journey of learning and growing together.